what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. in a matter of days he was back up and within two weeks the spot where he lost the most hair grew back he did he said the rock is gonna be okay pet smarts take care of our family member that's what you hey y'all so we're at pet smart right now for rocky for his sickness and he is trying on little harnesses i'm gonna show y'all look at him come on rocky he keep getting sidetracked Let's get it. Okay, Mama, can we like stop? We're not going walking right now. Like, can we stop? Can we, oh my gosh. What is this? This looks like this is Mama. So the lady told us that um, part of his diarrhea could be from him being on that UTI medication or from the food he was eating, Benefil. But um, she said we shouldn't worry about Benefil because if it was the food, it would have shown up on his test before when he was up here two weeks ago. Right? Um, yeah, but I ain't taking no um, chance. Mama, can we, eat can no we more. go do my school shopping now? Like, please? Come on. So we get Rocky a little harness. And a shirt. I'm like, that's the school. And yeah, I'm doing this on my phone because I left the memory card for the camera at the house. So, just in case. Oh, you're going to get him a matching leash? I've been upgraded. <laughs> you going to get him a leash? You want him a leash? <laughs> $17. Rocky. Come on. Come on. Everybody Come on. in the store. I just said that not too long ago. Mom, I'm not that disobedient. You don't need that. Really? I'm just protecting me and my eyes. Yeah. Uh, I am so blown. And I'm going to tell you why I'm blown. I got this camera. I'm feeling on it right now. I don't even know if the quality is all that good. Hopefully it is. But I don't know how to work this crap. It's like complicated. I'm sorry, I can't help but look at myself. It's really hard. But this crap is complicated. I've been playing on it literally since all day. And I don't know how anything works. I know like people I've seen use it. They can like put something in front of the camera, right? Like let's say I want to put the Sony cat thing. Okay, so if I want you to focus on this, it doesn't focus. Uh, really? Really, it works when I put the. Hold on, what did I do differently? Hold on, yes, Sonny. So it just takes a long time. Okay, <clears throat> I meant to do that. That was a part of me opening up this blog. Was that I had to trick y'all into thinking this camera sucks ass when really it's amazing actually no but for real i watch i just watched like a lot of reviews on on my laptop and there was there for the majority of the parts they were great great reviews about this camera and for those of you wondering this is the sony a5000 camera it cost 489 or 499 and it has a flip up screen so that's why I keep looking at myself in the screen but it has a flip up screen and the downfall a lot of people were saying is the fact that the audio isn't that great and um what else audio isn't that great and it was something about a feature with the video like some type of mode I don't know I feel like you have to be like a professional to understand it because I just want to point this on me film me me be clear you guys see me you guys hear me and that's all that matters so yeah but i just got out the shower i took a shower to try to calm my nerves because showers seem to always calm me back down but uh, i took a shower and i was washing my hair because my hair just seemed really dry and brittle so i was like i need to co-wash it so i just co-washed it and now i'm just sitting here trying to calm down because i was getting really frustrated with it and i don't get really the how the whole wi-fi thing works i'm still trying to 
learned that. I feel like this camera is just too complicated and it doesn't need to be. Like my mom's camera, the Canon, I didn't have to look up no videos. It was really self-explanatory, but this camera is just not user-friendly at all. So, and something else I just, I don't like about this camera is these little freaking things on the side of the cameras. They make so much noise when I'm talking to y'all and it's annoying me. And I really want to just like plier these things off because I'm not going to use them. And it's just annoying. Can they come off? I'm trying to see if it was like a keychain where you could like slide these holes off. Because I don't like that. But, um, yeah. Besides that though, what we really didn't get to vlog today because I had left the SD card here at the house. But I had left the SD card at home so we couldn't really vlog when we had took Rocky to the vet earlier today. So, um, coming to find out, Rocky is okay. It's just was his medication was what was making him sick or giving him diarrhea and making um, him vomit. And she was saying the reason why Rocky hasn't been eating his food is because Rocky is smart, for one. And his mindset is that if I don't eat my dog food, they're going to try to give me food some type of way. And she said us giving him the chicken and us giving him, like, the bread and stuff. He was like, okay, well, if I don't, if I don't eat, I see that I can get human food. So Rocky has been, like, not eating on purpose, but we caught on to game. Yeah, this is really weird, talking to myself on this camera and looking at myself. It makes vlogging awkward. Like, I feel like I, I'm sitting here looking at myself, talking to myself. And it just feels uncomfortable, you know? So, guess what I did? I call myself the queen. I got these little thingies to come off. Yep, I sure did. I used my keys and I got these mother suckers off. So, I wonder if I can make noise if you can hear anything now. Because these little things clanking on the side was not about to be the move. And I was about to be highly upset because it's going to be like, I went from a quiet camera to a loud ass camera. So, I'm just happy about that. But I still just been sitting here playing with this camera. Look at my case. I ordered me a case off eBay. And I got it for... $19.99 hopefully you can tell that it's like an ombre color this camera like really changes colors a lot but it's like an ombre color and um yeah have from ebay and then it came with a screen protector on here and then it just came with um with this colorful ombre like keyboard so yeah you should definitely check out the eBay because eBay definitely will have everything that you need for the low low. So ain't nobody about to spend fifty nine dollars on okay, it's because it's not that serious. So what I've decided I'm gonna do with this camera is I'm not gonna mess with the settings. I'm gonna let this camera do whatever it wants to do. Right now it's doing its own thing. It looks better when it does its own thing, so I'm just gonna point shoot and so today is Thursday July 30th and we're getting ready to head over to the pool now my mom wanted to go to the pool yesterday but because of what time we got back home from running errands with Rocky and um <clears throat> and the fact I forgot whatever the other reason was but basically we're just going to the pool today because she wants to get a tan she said her legs need to be browned so she just wants to get a tan so we're about to head over there and i just have on this blue oh, i'm sorry i gotta fix my boobs but this blue bikini top and then white shorts and brown flip-flops and this is the first time in a very long time that i have actually worn a two-piece i'm trying to make myself step outside my comfort zone and to be comfortable in my skin and to love my body so my mom, she was like, you sure you want to wear that one? I just want you to be comfortable. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. So we're going to rock this two-piece. Let's do this. Rocky's 
Jade's ready. Yeah. Jada's ready. Jada. What kind of bathing suit do you have on? Can we get a peek or are we gonna have to wait till we get to the pool? Oh, okay. Oh, you're rocking that Eclect Nista. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to learn how to work this camera. I said you're rocking that Eclect Nista. Is that mommy's bathing suit one of hers? I don't have a great variety, whatever the word is for reading suit. A what? Variety. Variety? Yeah. You don't know how to say variety? It's a tongue twister for me. Multitude. Say, mu wait, is that a word? Multitude. Say a lot. A lot. There. Say I have a lot of swimsuits. I mean, I don't have a lot of swimsuits. And there she is. Yes, honey, we are headed to go to the school. This community pool. And pool side pimp. Hey, hey, hey. Anybody else who has this camera, can you please explain to me how this A5, Sony A500 camera works? Because I don't get it. Right now, I just have it on like the program thing, what comes with it, but I really want to personalize it more to make the video better. I just don't understand how it works. It's just really confusing, like I said before. So we're at this pool and nobody's here, but literally us. But in an hour or two, the little kid is supposed to be coming out here for camp. Is that zero feet? That's what I'm trying to see. That looks... <laughs> I feel like it just got really hot out here. Oh, is she doing? What is this? I can stand up in four feet. You're four feet. It means that you're barely gonna be standing up. I'm just saying. Y'all gotta go get in the shower. I thought it meant shower as in take a bath. Oh, shorty, it's like shower, just like that's how it makes the water more pleasant to me. Well, what about the shower? Exactly, it probably meant shower as in take a bath. <laughs> I'm gonna start when you start getting undressed. Take your shorts off. That sounds so nice. Take your shirts off. Y'all, we is poolside pimping. Poolside pimping. Poolside pimping. This is what the grown folk do. I have sun bathing. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow, they over there afraid to go down a slide that lands in four feet of water. Okay. I um, knew exactly what day I was going to get my hair done. I would be over there. Hey, honey. I could be over there sometime next week. It's about the street from the house. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to justify how I'm going to tell James. I need a vlogging camera. He's gonna be like, girl, you got a cannon. Hello. Girl, stand up. Let's see your bikini. We can't even see the little fringes. It ain't gonna pop off. You'll hit the water and be under the water. Ain't nobody gonna see. Jada. I'm gonna be the next Janet Jackson. Did she really just say Janet Jackson, y'all? That was a wardrobe malfunction. That was staged. That was? Yes. That was a, that was a publicity stunt. She did. I ain't making up no movie.
Jada, your turn. What, to do the slow motion water? I'm gonna do it, I just ain't gonna get my hair wet. So, I had to get out that water because Jaden wants me, wanted to go under the water a lot. And I don't like holding my breath under the water, so I needed. Where did that ball just come from? It came out the slide. Oh, okay. Why? You just the area. But I had to take a break because, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not holding my breath and it took a lot of energy out of me. I didn't say that. I'm just taking a break. Plus, when you get, I feel like when you get in the water, and then you get out, you get darker quicker because that chlorine on you. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna be like burnt dark, not like well, bronzy. Once, once my um, once I flip and get the back, then I go get the more. You really want this tan? You didn't get... work hard enough yesterday. Yeah, but it wasn't like this is like prime time time. Um, I told you yeah. yesterday the sun was gone. And no, said, no, well, I got a, I did get a little color. And your daddy said he noticed. You noticed my strap. My foot my strap. I ain't getting no color. He's not yet. So she done finally decided to get up and go get in the pool. She doing what? It's not even cold. It's not even cold. Bruh. Bruh. Mommy, go! It's not even cold. I did get in there. That makes no sense. Talking about you ain't even get in here. Yes, I did. Y'all saw. Oh my gosh, wimp. So we're all done at the pool now, and we're walking back to the house. And why am I not clear? Thank you. Why you what? I wasn't clear. It be making the background clear. And um, exactly. And now we're just about to go in the house real quick and get the keys so we can switch out the cars because my dad left the car here and. We know I'm not allowed to drive that car. So, we need to go get the truck. ASAP. And I do think I got a little bronzy. Let me see. You can't see. You see it here. You see? I got darker. Yeah. And I'm sweating, y'all. My stomach and crap. You see that mess? Yeah. At the little pool thing, it said it was um 100 degrees outside. There's no way it's that hot. We gonna be out here. So we got the truck. My mama's parking the truck. It's so hard not to look at myself on this thing. I'm trying to look in this lens, but it's really hard. And here she come. Oh, I done locked it out. Stop! <laughs> it. It was like I was locked in. Because there's like set the alarm up. Okay, y'all. It's the Rockster. I know I've been MIA for a couple of past days, but I haven't been feeling the best. So let me tell y'all what's going on with me. Um, I got I, I can't eat Beneful dog food anymore. Beneful's not for me. All the doggies that watch my Oh wait, I don't see my channel. <laughs> <laughs> they watch Chad's channel. Stay away from Beneful. Yeah, it's the, it, it's the devil. It's the devil. It had my stomach all jacked up. And so the doctor, she going to mess around and tell mama not to give Rocky any table food. Tell me some uh, dogs try to play their owners when they get table food. And, and, and yeah. And basically that was my story. I was trying to play them, but I failed. So, Rocky, sit your little ass down and finish telling the story. I don't want to. Rocky, come here. It's on the booty. 
Okay, so, um, I'm get up, I'm getting personal right now. So, um, yeah, my mama made my food this morning with lots of love. You know, she was like, bump, just opening a can and giving me a little prescription dog food. She put the food in the microwave on like 30 seconds and she nooked it right quick. Because and then, she made it with love, that's always why I eat it, yeah. Yeah, and then she put the little probiotic stuff on it so I can get my stool back right. And, um... Um, she mixed it up really good and like she, <laughs> she mixed it really good and and I, I I ate a little bit before they went to the pool and then um when it came back I couldn't wait to Rocky Rocky I just saw the ass walk by that's all I had to follow it <laughs> Rocky's fresh <laughs> so um I I, fin I finished eating um I finished, I finished it. Mama heard the bowl all up. I was all up in the kitchen, like hitting the bowl and eating all the little crumbs and everything. And so now this is the first time I've ate it. Everything is gone. Yeah. Rock is back on the roll. He's going to be back momentarily. Just wait. Just wait. Gonna... Yeah. I'm going to be back better than ever. No more beneficial for me. Yeah. Rocky, who are you eating now? I'm eating bland dog food. That's some bullshit. Mama, could you put a little lemon pepper in it? I want just a little lemon. No, lemon. Rocky. Oh, Jasmine, shut the hell up. Oh. Yeah, that was the Diablo in me. <laughs> me too, like <laughs> Yeah, I turn into Diablo. She turns into the Hulk. Rocky. Rocky. Jasmine dress, Mama. I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to be a gentleman for once. Well, bump that. Let me just, let me turn this way and I can see her on my peripheral. <laughs> Rocky, stop being fresh. See, I'm working on my smile. I did it by myself. I did it all by myself. Yeah. So eating hot dogs without buns and eating it with regular bread. This nasty bread that she be buying, my mom, may I add, just feels so wrong. I'm putting two because I don't want to endure eating this nastiness for too long. So, great. So here we go. This is nasty. But because I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat it. It upsets me to know that in just two weeks, I'm gonna go back to eating like this. This is how I ate in school. I don't expect to eat like this at home. Well, I could have got buns, but I'm being lazy. So really, it's my fault. I really need to shut up and eat this and be grateful right now. You already know Rocky is right here watching. Where's mine? You got your non-tasting, whatever that is in your bowl, food. So you can't have any. And Jada, taking a shower. My mom editing her daily vlog for her channel. And if you guys didn't know, she does have a channel. It's at, or you can search in the search engine, you click me stuff. Or you can look in the description box below. And there will be a direct link to take you straight to her channel. So you should definitely check her out if you guys want to stay up to date on her once I leave to go back to school in two weeks. And y'all, working to get back to school or like planning to get back to school is stressful because my plane ticket was $220. Do you know what I could have did with $220? It had to pay my cell phone bill. Then, look. Word of advice to high schoolers, middle schoolers, and my college students. Never, ever, ever, ever get sucked into credit cards. Because I'm paying for that now. And I just wish I never got them. And I have three. Okay? I don't use them now. Now I just pay everything from out of pocket. Because I'm working on paying them all back. And hopefully my goal is to finish paying them all off before I graduate college. But never invest in credit cards. It's not worth it. It may seem all fun and dandy when you get to swipe, swipe, swipe. And you get to have all these clothes and all that crap. But when it comes to paying them back, it's not the move. So after paying for that and then the u-haul u-hauls are a scheme to me i don't even know if the word scheme is right but online it'll say oh your total is going to be 1999 1995 but what they fail to tell you is that 
the gas that they the gas meter wherever it's at when you pick up the truck you have to fill that gas back up so you have to pay for gas to fill the truck back up and you also have to pay for the amount of miles you will use on the truck so you use 100 miles you have to go ahead and prepay for that plus gas so when I was doing my um, move out I think I spent maybe like 150 so I'm assuming it's gonna cost like another 150 maybe 200 I don't know but I got the little van this time instead of the truck so hopefully that'll be cheaper and then I had to buy me a suitcase because I don't know if I knew but my suitcase had broke so I had to buy me a suitcase I did not know suitcases were not cheap and I had spent $96 on a suitcase and van what else I had to buy Oh yeah, I bought me some new um, Cetaphil because that Cetaphil for normal to oily skin was breaking me out. Hence, this pimple right here on my face. Um, yeah, Cetaphil for all skin types did that to me because I have dry skin and that is not for my skin. So, I had to get me some new face wash. I got me um, the right kind of moisturizer because I had got Cetaphil lotion, not the Cetaphil moisturizer, but every day. So, I got some new of that and then I got some more St. Eve's um, scrub. And then I'm just thinking like I have 15 days I think at least 15 days from here to now I get paid tomorrow thank God and I have to save that money for the gas and stuff for the U-Haul and then to pay the U-Haul people and then I have to have I get paid the day I fly in I get paid that day thank God and um then I have to have that money on reserve to get me stuff for school. And then, yeah. It's just a lot of money is being spent out. And I'm not liking it. But I will say I'm definitely in a better position this summer than I was last summer. Because last summer I really had no idea. None. None. No idea how I was going to do it. But because I have a job, it just makes things a little bit easier. It's just making me sick to my stomach having to spend so much money i'd rather see my money in clothes or makeup not bills and plane tickets but it's a part of life just take from this little conversation do not do not invest in credit cards or not invest do not apply for credit cards it is the devil believe me it is no. I thought you were still in there. Still in your room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with some of the um, what you wanna call it? Oh. I just gave them a pep talk about credit cards. What about it? They're the devil. And how if I didn't have them, like paying my bills and stuff, the only bill I would really have, well the only bill I would have is my cell phone bill. Because yeah. that interest is something real. Only credit card I have is a business credit card, and I strictly keep that stuff. But you pay it off immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was burping inside. I was trying not to let it out since they say my burps be bothering them so much. Y'all looking at me like baby daddy. That's when we was um, in high school. And I was going to his prom, American Senior High. Your daddy must be outside. Because Rocky, where did that bark come from? Yeah! I'm back. I'm back at it. I'm back at it. Yeah, I'm back active. But that's my baby daddy, y'all! See, we've always been colorful. Literally. Do you know I still got that dress? I know. I wore it on Halloween when I was in like seventh grade. And you was acting like a prom queen. I don't know what I was honestly, because I just had an afro hair. Bob is pretty. And um, that dress on. Yeah. Tanya had tagged me in that. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, that is it's pretty. all gray and got a little hint of blue. But my next hairstyle, I think I'm going to do a hot pink pixie cut. I'm going to get me a hot pink pixie. And this time I know that I'm packing a hair for the hair. So it's going to be different from when I had the red pixie. This one's going to be chopped up a little bit more. Yeah, so once you find out your schedule, then that's when we can call and make appointments. Oh, yeah, y'all. I'm supposed to be um, getting my hair done. I'm going to be going. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm going to be going platinum blonde, but I'm not bleaching my hair myself. And I'm going to be very cautious of what she's using. No 40, but I only want 30, maybe she, 20. She's a professional. I know she's a professional, but professionals mess up too. Yeah, but... And this is natural hair. I just want my hair to still be curly at the end of the day. That's all I care about. Well, I think when she does your consultation, that's all you need to be specific about is that. Did y'all ever see our family picture? Did we, they ever see that? We took these on Father's Day. This was me and Jada's present to Daddy. And this is the old one. This is supposed to be an update of our old picture we took when we were younger. And the old one looks like this. So everybody looked different. Well, we looked the same for the most part, but just more mature, more fresh, younger. Did y'all ever knew I used to be a cheerleader at Pope High School? Go Greyhounds! That's when girls messed her up with Jada um, used to too. The hair. Yeah, for real. She thought she had to be Becky, and she had to have natural flowing hair. And <laughs> how do you yeah. have to demonstrate? I, if did you, you have an incident when you were on children team, and I was I checked somebody. Yes, because they asked Jasmine, do black people tan? Oh, Your yeah. teacher asked you that, didn't she? Oh, it was my um, social, uh, like sociology, sociology class, something she, like that. Because Jasmine was the only black girl in class. And she went to a school that was predominantly was white. Mind. Yeah. And the lady said, do black people tan? She was saying a lot of comments. I don't remember now, but I she was oh, making I a lot of words. comments. We had words. Because how the hell you single out my child asking her do black people tan? Call me and ask me that. And when we did talk, yeah, we got I got an apology from the principal on her ass. Because yes, I did report her. That is uh being racial. Having some racial issues. Yeah, and on the cheerleading team, they used to always like make side or that school in general. They made like side comments, but one they was like, um, a girl was like, "Does anybody have lotion?" And they were like, "Ask Jasmine. She's black. They always have lotion." What you trying to say? We get ashy more than y'all. I thought y'all get ashy too. We get ashy too. You just don't see it as much. And then they used to ask me because I told y'all I was Weeby Wanda back then, but they act like they didn't know it was my hair. But some of them who did know it was my not mine, they would touch it and be like, "Oh my God, this is so cool!" Or they'd be like, "Can black people wash their hair?" Are you serious? Because we're not people too. We're just some creature. So that's why I only cheered my sophomore and junior year. In my senior year, I said, oh, no, I'm not putting myself through that. I quit. I couldn't do it. And then, like, when we used to go to other high schools, like black high schools, they everybody used to be looking at me like, why yeah, because I was the only black girl on the team. I don't care. My baby, she was fly, and she could chill, and she had it with them. They was trying to learn it with me from her, okay? Okay. My toe touch is sucked, but However, though. That's what made Jasmine want to go to an HBCU. Okay? Yeah, that's where that's where Savannah State came from. She was like, I want to be around my people. I quickly learned I won't be around them either. Child boo. I said your people gonna be the ones that's gonna teach you a damn lesson. I was so miserable at that school, y'all. I was. Just had to go get her week. Like three weeks after school had started my freshman year, he came and got me because. I was miserable. I was like going into depression for real. 
If you ever go check out my video, it's an old video. I had like a blonde mohawk. I look sad, like looking at it now. Yeah, you had a blonde mohawk when you came home. That's when you had got that colorful hair. Yeah. And that's when Rocky really started talking on video. Yeah. I think that was his first video. Yeah. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> so, she said that she wanted to go to school with her people. And I said, you know what? She got to learn. I didn't um, try to disencourage her or anything like that. Um, I said, okay, you're going to learn real quick. And two years later, I asked transfer. Well, that's, well, that is, okay. I transferred, I already knew going to Savannah State, I wasn't graduating there. I already knew that because they didn't have my major. I knew my major, what I wanted my major to be. I just wanted to get the experience of an HBCU. An HBCU. But the way I felt at that school is what made me want to leave that much more. I was like, oh no, there's no way I'm staying, ch changing my major to stay here, friends, like nothing's holding me back. I'm ready to go. I hated that school. She changed roommates. My three freshman times. year, three times, I had three different roommates. And finally, the last room I moved in, I had by myself. And it wasn't even because I was a bad roommate. It really was. Well, the first three was, um, they just didn't like me. I, like at first we got along, and yes. then out of nowhere it was just like all of us against you. And then they start asking, "Why you gotta get dressed? To go, yeah. to, um, go to class every day." That's when I was on my ish back then. And I used I to get like, dressed up every day. You got them little trolls bring you down to day level. They won. And I was like, you don't do that. I'm like, if, if you came to school one way, this is the way you need to be. And she slowly, she started to change. And it was, I think, because she was trying to fit in. You may disagree with me, but I think she was just trying to keep conflict down. And then the set, after she got out of the first group, because it was four of them, two and two, after she left that room, then she got with Messy Betty. Yeah, and Messy Betty, she was a cheerleader. She was nice. Too. She was so sweet. It's just she wasn't clean. That was the only thing. Yeah. If she was clean, we we would have got to find just got along just fine. But I'm kind of like it's so ironic. At home, I'm not like OCD, but at school, I am OCD. Like, well, when it comes to other people in my space, dirtying up. Now I can dirty my own space up all the more, and I'm fine. But if somebody else come and like move a book and make it tilted or something, I'm gonna get mad because no, that's not how I wanted it. And then she just said she ain't like that. Go take a picture of your damn room right now. And yeah, that's why she closed the door every day. Mm-hmm. Because her daddy walk up them steps and he looking down, he be about to go off. Day. Okay? So then when she finally got in a room by herself, that was the best fit. And then, um, then when you went to the new college, you have to worry about being with other people. I mean, yeah. y'all share common areas, but you had your own. And y'all, these home. these roommates I had just last semester, minus one, little Becky, we nobody and nobody in our crew in our little roommate circle really talked to her because she started a lot. She, yeah, but she the. What? She just was started, like, she ruined our little peace moment we had. And then, like, her boyfriend, he was living with us. I don't care what she said. He was living with us, and he wasn't supposed to. And we felt like we couldn't step out because we had to be respectable of him. When this is our place, why we got to be respectable of him? And then she dirtied up the kitchen. Like, we had gnats, y'all, in our kitchen. Gnats. Yes, and, like, piles and piles of dishes that were hers and she never cleaned them so I just I didn't like her and then one day she tried to like tell us could we hurt not us me told me if I could hurry up and clean the house because her friend's mom was coming and I was like are you serious to clean up your damn self are you serious but besides her these were literally the best roommates I've ever had like we hung out like it wasn't just we were roommates in the like in the house we actually went out and I still talk to them even now they were the best roommates I've ever had. What I thought my freshman year would have been like, I ain't get to my junior year oh, at another college. She didn't get the first three weeks of her freshman year, okay? Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. And you learn. You live and you learn. Yeah. Um, I went to an HBCU too, Florida Memorial University. Yes, honey, I, um, I was like, oh yeah, I am. Was. I am a Kappa sweetheart and um, I did the whole line and everything like that and 
I was number one until somebody shorter came along and then I became number two. But honey, Mama Step can step. I can step. I um I still have my colors. I still have my last shirt. And you wanna know what my name was? My line name was Pebbles because I used to rock a ponytail all the time. So my line name was Pebbles. And every time they called my name, I had to be like, Google Gaga, Google Gaga. Goo -goo -ga. Then when I crossed over, cause the frat brothers learned real quick about me, I was not that chick, okay? And so the line name they gave me when we crossed over, they called me Red Man. Our whole line was rappers. And they named me that because they said I didn't give a fuck. Okay. So every time they called my name, I had to sound off and be like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay, you can't do a face like that. <laughs> I would have shades on when uh. I was stuff like that. But, like, they know I didn't play no games. I, I was not that uh, little sister that you're going to come stay in my house, stay in my room and hide from the other frat brothers because you're on the line and stuff like that. No, nope, that wasn't me. Get your ass out. And then do all that. And then one line brother was trying to, not line brother, but a frat brother, um, a kappa, he was trying to holler at me. And I'm sorry, but I don't do pretty men okay and let's just say this he thought he was pretty and he really wasn't because men who wear contact lenses is that is not attractive color contact it's lenses? just suspect to me yeah that oh that don't mix and he he looked like he would like take a sponge and like wipe across foundation and like smooth his skin out that's the type of cap brother he was and one day he came he was like i want to take a nap take your ass to your room and go take a nap then no i want to lay in your bed you got the wrong chick. And that night, I almost quit the line until they told me we was crossing over two days later. So, yeah. And I proudly wore that name proudly. I don't give a fuck. If y'all wondering, I don't plan on crossing. It's just not me. Oh, um, your daddy said that if he had um, stayed in college, because he's only in college for two weeks, yeah, if he had stayed in college, he said he'd think like he would have wanted to do a fraternity and he said he'd think he would want to do like Q dogs or something like that because he just like they he like they swag when they say yeah. and stuff. And um, doing? he was like, that's that's who he would have went with, but I don't know. They say that what? you know, being part of a fraternity and sorority is like, I guess. You experience a sisterhood and a brotherhood and a bond that can never be broken. But, I don't know. I just, I guess because I don't see it. Do you? I don't know. I'm not in it, so I don't know. I mean, but you wouldn't see it around campus. I it. just, I've heard that there's a lot of drama within those fraternities. Okay. And it's not all peachy creamy that they try to make it appear to be. Which is none of our business if it isn't. But, it's just... I think that's why sorority sisters um that show i think that's why they canceled it because it was really they was really about to be exposed with that and they kept saying that it was making the certain aka's and the deltas and stuff like that look bad which true there's somebody in that video that i know personally and andrea adriel she know her a dream. A dream, whatever her name is. Yeah. She knew her from Atlanta. And she, exactly what you saw, is exactly what you got. Mm -hmm. And we gonna end it right here, cause. Yes. Yeah. I don't wanna talk about it. Now, before I go to work, I'm gonna go ahead and throw me in a load for me to wash some clothes. That way some clothes can be washing. Work. I'm washing my white clothes, y'all. Not like y'all really care, but I'm not doing washing. I'm gonna have to put my dark clothes that I was washing in the dryer. Ooh, a quarter! I found the quarter! Yep. I thought it was gonna clear, that's why I kept holding it, but. I don't get this camera y'all I don't get it see I'm not even am I clear I don't know <sighs> whatever so I just made 62 cents 
yes for putting some clothes in the thing or at least that's what I found when I was washing them thank you well, to myself because those were all my clothes so I must have left money in there before but I just got back 62 cents 62 cents rich yes oh, wait what else I got to do oh yeah I gotta put the arm up because I had to arm my shirt real quick if y'all can see see yep I repeat a lot y'all I just have no idea days I don't care I really don't care I'll, I'll wear something that I once wore before so just threw this on mm -hmm. plus I'm closing when I close I really don't care who close me and I'm gonna have to be yeah no nah, no nah. I'm gonna be getting my work on today so nah not even about to dress up hello everyone I am home from work it's currently 8 25 today's friday july 31st and um we're getting ready to go pick up pizza from domino's and yeah. go get another bottle of sangria because my mom has turned me into a wine drinker this yeah. summer check okay, this well, out normally my sangria lasts me for a month maybe more this heifer come here. Y'all saw that glass, right? Who fills a wine goblet all the way to the rim? Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go replace it. I gotta replace both bottles because we ain't got not even one. Because when she drank a bottle of red, she started drinking the other one too. Wine is good. I used to hate wine, but now wine is good. I like how it makes you feel. It makes you feel wine yeah, down and it relaxes you. Versus drinking, you know, hard liquor, you feel drunk and heavy and lousy. But wine makes you just feel like. What you did the other day, you sip wine. <laughs> Do you know how you did it yesterday? It's wine. You, you sip. You chill. That's not what you said. What did I say? I don't know, but it was funny. Because <laughs> you actually looked like some Paris or something. Because <laughs> you were like, why? You sip. Enjoy. I don't know what you said. Sip it. You enjoy it. You sip. You chill. You sip and you relax. Now let's go. Come on, Rocky. Get up. And Rocky's feeling better, y'all. He said rocks his back and then eating all like dog food in because it's all he's been feeding me. And if I want to eat, I better eat that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why are you hiding? Because I'm waiting for my wine. Waiting on my food. Let's go. Yeah, I look so basic for work today. But look at me. Oh, hold up. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. So basic. I don't even care again. Pajama outfit, pajama, made it high waist, <laughs> cropped the little cami, got a little cardigan, yes. <laughs> Sexy on the week. I was about to say, who the hell is this man talking? He was talking earlier. This is our pizza. And we'll keep it warm for you Wait. when you arrive. Oh, it's ready for pickup. Come on. We're going to get pizza now. Come on, Rocky. Yeah, I get to go too. We is at where, Jess? She doesn't say a lot enough, but we're at Domino's. Mm. Um, get, are you gonna come in there with me and hold it? Get uh, something clear, like. Um, I love your hair, by the way. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, you have to order for Stephanie. Oh. Is she professional like that? Or? No. no. I just like to experiment and I'm going to get Yeah, but she did a great job with it. Though, so, you know, you got to tell your mom this guy is sort of like it. <laughs> you know? Thank you. So, and I'm loving your camera over there. Oh, thank you. I need a photographer to go inside just to find you. So, <laughs> look here, I'll show you the picture of this. You happy with us again? Yeah. We're going to shop, right? We're going to Domino's. I'm so happy. Oh, that's weak. Mine is just like, Mama, you killed 
the hair flip. <laughs> so in order for Rocky to come in, he has to get in this bag. Any bag to help? Long, not trust that dog. <laughs> Come on. Go get in the bag. We gotta test it. Just don't don't the box is like, you know, right when you walk in. Go get in the bag, buddy. Store, per se. <laughs> right. You, you lay on it. I'm not telling you to lay. I'm telling you to get in it. Maybe you want to. Oh, did Jack, Mommy tell you we got season passes? Yeah. Rocky said he gonna take yours when you leave. Even though he can't oh, go, yeah, that's but that's what she was telling me. Like, <laughs> yes, oh, man. Six legs, hurricane. Oh, he said, um, excuse me, you're choking me. Yeah. Something safari, so I guess that's the part with the animals. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, right, yo. I'm trying to keep your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put him on my hip and I. Let me see. He might not be that. I don't think. I think he'll be alright. Yeah. See? Uh uh. Yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna be turning your butt this way so you can't see nobody. I don't see Rocky in this bag. He said, I'm trying to show you guys Rocky knows how to behave. Yeah. And we're trying to find some red box movies to watch. I never saw a woman in black one. Me neither. But I know it looks good. Y'all, when I tell you Rocky's heavy, Rocky is heavy. <laughs> yeah, he got his little paws out chilling. Stop sniffing around, trying to find trouble. Walking to the liquor store. She just told me y'all that I have to buy one of them since I helped gulp them down. I like walking in a maze. Well, I can't buy the white one. Same damn price. I don't care. This the one I'm buying, y'all. This the one she be going oh, down. It's heavy. Oh, you ain't got no scrap. I, I, I'm trying to hold my camera too now. All right, y'all. I'm not to pay for this. So we made it back home. And now everybody just eat pizza. Oh my gosh, you freaking nat in here. I'm well, Rocky begging, but he's on his diet food. Since he was sick, he can only eat some non-tasting food to help him to help with his diarrhea, his vomiting, and he misses human food. But too bad you're not eating it anymore. We love you too much, Rocky. We love you too much. I do not want to hear no "I love you too much." You better feed me some um some of that good food. Yeah. Nah, ignore him. He ain't getting nothing. Huh? Dirty wall. What? Oh, no. She didn't say I had to make you a drink. She said that, didn't she? She said, make your daddy a drink. I don't know. Oh, yeah, she did, but she was talking about his um, margarita. Why are you looking at me like that? And I said, here she go. I always gotta have the last word. Is it good? I really just covered the Rocky this course, but I can't. Okay, save it. Jada. She's so long for that. Then we make a pack. It wasn't good, Rocky. No more table food. So we gonna save it indefinitely because he ain't gonna never get it. Take the whole sauce. It's only one sauce, mommy. This shit is hot! 
Cops you I like hot it. stuff. I don't want it. She's about to cry, so I don't want it. I don't like that. that whatever the word is. I'm going to go. Okay. Where's my barbecue sauce? Dip it. One looks deadly. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's called sweet mango hamana. I don't know. I put too much. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to some kick. You made me think it was going to be like, pour the water. It's, it's, I, I'm not used to a sauce like that. That's good. I feel like cooking tomorrow. A cup of what? Sprite. I don't need no ice. It's cool. I'll cook already. Come on. I don't know. Huh? Stop begging. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Oh. Mm. That good. When you was a baby, that's how you used to tell me it was good. <laughs> but I'm not lying. I was daddy. Do it again. Do it again. I'm going to chop That's good. <gasps> <laughs> Is it really good? Tell them that chicken, <gasps> tell them the chicken okay. nugget story about Jack. She already did. Okay, I'm putting this down. I got to eat. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Mom, get the damn camera on my damn face. Fuck you want to eat in peace. Took you forever to make this food with love. Um, <laughs> I'm. Yep. Yeah. Only thing yeah. I don't like is I have to like really grip this food. I'm like it's no crunch. Kind of like it though. Okay. I actually kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. You gonna breathe? Talk to me while I'm eating my nasty, tasteless dinner. Nobody. They're over there eating dominoes. You see that pizza? They're over there eating dominoes. And Rocky's eating this bland stuff <laughs> with some probiotics on top of it. I'm going to lift this little paw. I'm going to hold the little bowl down. Like, stop moving. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm going to lick the bowl. I'm going to lick it. Because my mom made this with love. She put it, she, she warmed it up. She nooked it and she sprinkled some probiotics. That's when I had some probiotic seasonings. And no, yeah. Medicine, right? It was seasoning. Well, that medicine is good. It's seasoning. <laughs> it tastes really good. These peppers didn't even drop monkey, not even one little pepperoni. Talking about they got, they made a pack. I'm part of the pack. Jada just don't know. She's at the bottom of the pack, though. Rocky. Oh my gosh, are you going to breathe? Did you see him? You see, see? I'm all better. Rocky is back to back to being a vicious little dog. No. Mom, hook up a little bit more. No. Why not? Because that's what got you in this particular place. <laughs> Once you get to have to learn a valuable life lesson, Rocky needs to stop overeating. You see how I, I slimmed down, y'all? You'll see I got a little slim and trim. Yeah. I'm going to show my butt. I want to be embarrassed. show my butt. <laughs> Your daddy. This used to stay right there on the side. Your daddy cleaned his foot last night. It ain't as bad as it used to be. He, he actually, he cleaned it. Yeah, he sure did. That's my guy. Rocky, it is gone. That's mister. Don't you give me butt. Your butt's in it. <laughs> you shouldn't have walked away. Okay, let me come away and sit down on my butt. Then. Yeah. Let me come away and sit down on my butt. Just to her get the camera off me. Is it good? Oh, yeah, mama. Look how he stopped. Like, really, that's what yeah. good. Mama made that with love, love and kindness. 
y'all, this love and kindness is an inside family <laughs> choke. If y'all ever hear Yes. talking about somebody in code. In code. Kindness. You said that's what they always treated the longs with love and kindness. No, the hell your ass didn't. She was some tiny ass person, okay? Right. Did you really just identify the gender? No, oh, well, they don't know. They don't know. They don't, they don't know. They don't, they don't know. Okay, let me get my butt my glass of sangria because my baby daddy. I forgot what this was in the camera. My baby daddy is standing in now. He's sitting in now and he is waiting because we is finna watch. What are we finna watch? Mall Cop Part 2. And y'all hear that? It is 10 o'clock. Those is the military route. Let me not even mess it up, okay? It's retiring of the day. That's what you hear. We hear that every night at 10 o'clock. We hear another one every morning at 6 a.m. And we hear another one at the end of the work day at 5 o'clock. So we can always know what time it is around here without even looking at a clock. I love how it just transitions. Glass. I have mine. And now we're about to watch Lucy. If I'm remembering correctly from the previews, this is when another part of her mind worked that we have, right? Mm -hmm. And she was like killing people with her mind or something? Well, another part of her, they said we only use 10% of our brain and she got to use all the percentages of her brain, okay? Yeah, that's what it was. It doesn't make sense. You finna see what happened. How do you make 10% of your brain? That's all humans. You only use 10%. Well, I'm special. I use 30%. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. I'm special. Yeah, I use 30%. You, you would have went and cleaned out. The, you would have cleaned that kitchen for me. <laughs> I did clean the kitchen. She would have cleaned it in my mind. I did clean the kitchen. No, I'm saying if... You worked thirty percent of your mind. The kitchen See, would have been clean out of nowhere. Look, y'all. Is that supposed to be Why us? Monkey look fake. He supposed to be us. It's like mankind. Hell, that's what Life was given to us a billion years okay. ago. Y'all about to watch the movie too? <laughs> Psych, cause I am not about to hold this camera the whole time. Peace. We'll give y'all a review after the end, like we deal with um addicted. So, we just got done watching Lucy. I'm glad I did not go to the movie theater and waste my money to go see that. All I've learned is a bunch of stuff about evolution. What happens allegedly when you get more than 10 or when you use more than 10% of your brain? That's really about it. I don't see the beautiful moral of the story. You, mommy? Do you see the moral of the story? She just said it. It's already the world. The way we live has already been written. Now use what she gave. She saw everything. Just she saw how everything was gonna turn out, how we started, and how it was gonna turn out. That little Chinese man wanting to have all that power. People get on my damn nerves thinking they God, okay? Yeah. There's only one. One. One God. Man, I love God. One Savior. You know love God? And the Holy Ghost. What is wrong with you? Let's go listen to that song. Yeah. yeah. So, I give the movie uh, I give it a zero. Cause thumbs, I'm cool. thumbs down. And I would not recommend this movie to anyone. Because I don't like movies where they try to make it seem like evolution came from science. And that's what this movie seems like. Well, where do you think evolution came from? God. 
I mean, granted, you're right. But, uh, uh, turn it down. Who caused it? What now? You're right. Scientists try to make it seem like evolution is created through them. Yet, you still have people around here saying that uh, whoever created the Bible, uh, they are the ones that's trying to control the way the world believes and the world's faith and all of this. I am not a religious person, but I am a spiritual person, spiritual. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. And that's my belief. And I was raised in the church. And I just, I know since I've been here in Jersey, I have never ever seen so many religions like, like all like right around each other. Like literally you could be driving down the street and you can be like in a Baptist community. Next thing you know, you're in a Jewish community. And I mean, you see all the Jewish people walking around with the hats and, um, the beards and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Muslims, you see them all. I agree with you, Jasmine. So we're getting ready to head off to Six Flags. First and foremost, we must have plastic bags for our phones if we get on wet rides. So we tell y'all have a bag. Hmm? Yeah, I'll look at it in the bag. Can you hold the shade so I can put my phone in here? Oh, you wanna go? You wanna go, Rocky? Oh, too bad you can't. <laughs> Rocky! Jasmine, where's my little pink thing? Well, I might be only one red. I'm already at the door and everything. But everybody else isn't. I'm ready to go. Are you ready for the park or are you just mad about your charger? That's your mad? About a charger? I would think you would be mad about a car, but you're mad about a charger? Seriously? 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 Or are you upset because daddy says you're getting old? <laughs> okay then. We shall go. I'm going outside. Is her charger out there? No, I look at that. Daddy, can you unlock the car for a second? I have a feeling her charger is in here. Um, no, they're not in here or in here. Wait, that day, mommy, remember that day you, um, that part over there is packed. Is that, is that the pool about this ride right here though because it goes literally straight up and then falls straight down. Go say hey to God. This shall be an adventure and we shall get on every ride
nobody's a baby, nobody's I'm not sure no handicapped, nobody's I'm not nothing. Sure so we can all get on together at once as a family. So this shall be fun. No. You got to scratch. Stretch. What's wrong? got up there because I thought daddy was gonna try to hide. <laughs> He's gonna try to hide it but he told us to walk back. to leave my camera in the my camera in the car. I don't want to say that too loud. And we're taking a break. She wasn't feeling too well. I was dehydrated. Superman was awesome. It was. Batman. And my dad was so gracious to share with me and Jada his hot dog and fries that is now gone. Somebody told me don't forget to get on the King the Cup. What is that? Is that? I think that's that ride that y'all saw when we was coming in. I think that's the I wanna get on that. Just really good. I'm a Jeep. She's like my daddy. Yeah. 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 Just got real. You want to be brave? We shall see. We think they brave. Only one person can be airborne. That's me.
just got real. Scary cats. We shall see what they do. They get hooked up on this thing. Steph, Jazz, Jada. I don't know. We'll see. Once they get hooked up. See what the deal is. Two coming down, one going up. All right, let me see what kind of footage I got. Somebody almost fell already. Who was that? Okay, they suspend it. There'll be no points now. I see you. Cut this out. That's Steph, Jasmine, and Jada. All that noise. all finished being at the park. It is currently 7.15. We're hot, we're hungry, and we stank. So, I don't know what we have ahead of us. I'm just going with the flow. But I know we didn't get on that big ride called. Because we couldn't tell if it was worth it. It, it it's working. Mommy. But it hasn't been working the whole time. We get on that early. That thing probably was so proud. I know. Yeah, because it, it literally go up, go down. And you see where it slow down, like when it get past that second. Minute. So it means you better come here directly at 10 o'clock and no. run over there. No. So you can be first one on it. No. Remember, I gotta pull your hair, so. Just remember. 
Super close to each other. It's 86 degrees right now. Seven and it was like, uh, yeah, seven something. And it seemed like all the high schoolers was coming out in their best fit outfits <laughs> because that's all I saw. And it was getting crowded with them. So it was yeah. time to go. Yeah. So now we're headed towards Chipotle is my life. Yes. Leave my phone alone. Go up. Same thing, so you can just make it the same as you are. Brown rice, black beans, <laughs> onions, and pepper. She get on hers and I just eat the same thing because I really don't know. And it's always good. It's good? And they are over there. My mom and my dad eating because there ain't no enough room in here because it's packed. I literally told that uh, I, I don't play games when I eat. Clearly Jada play games. Why? To enjoy it more or something? I can't enjoy it. That's disgusting that you ate that for breakfast. Is there a problem? Can I have some? You're full. I'm not full. Really? Really? What did you just tell me to do? What did you just tell me to do? You zoomed in on something. I don't know what it is. I just zoomed in. No, I didn't. Turn the phone. You were zoomed in. You were zoomed in, Jazz. I just saw it. I just saw it. Whatever. We're all done with Jabout Lie is my line. Yeah. What happened? That was an accident, right? Yeah. 
What you need a mulch for? Yep. A lot. I don't know, probably inside. No. But can you stop at the wall? What's wrong with the side? I need something strong. For what? Your headache? Yes. Why don't you take a BC? I don't like that aftertaste. BCs work though. <laughs> She looked at me. She was like, that's when I looked at her. I like it her look like, what you giving me that look for? And then that's what she said. Like your hair. The people, we always get in stairs because color hair. You think people to be used to it by now in 2000. Black people don't bungee jump. Y'all be bungee jump. Oh my God. Well, not bungee jump. We flew. Like I'm gonna tell you something when we get home. Hey y'all, so, so I'm chilling right now. Right now I'm just been editing the vlog of what we have up so far. And this little mother sucker, I swear, this time this is not dirty clothes, this is clean clothes. And Rocky thinks that my basket of clothes is his bed when he comes in my room. He can get in this one, that's the dirty clothes. This is clean laundry, and his stink butt is laying all on it. So I'm about to knock him off there in a second once I put this camera down. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all never got a chance to see. This is a suitcase that I ended up buying that was $96. I guess it was worth it. It's silver and nude, and it's by some lady. Look. It say it's by Nicole Miller. I don't know who that is, but it seemed like a pretty durable suitcase, so I guess it was worth the investment. But all I'm about to do now is finish editing this vlog, um, take a shower, and go to bed because I gotta work tomorrow. I'm trying to work as much as I can before I go back to school because it would be very nice to have a fat check going back to school and not a small check, but. Ultimately, I have to, uh, I have no say in my schedule, really. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was, like, mainly just me talking to the camera. But, it's kind of getting a feel of what it's going to be like once I head back to school. It'll just be me talking to you guys. And hopefully, you all will find that entertaining. And, yeah. Today has definitely been a very adventurous day. I've had a great time today. Definitely was more than what I expected. And um, I guess you could just say the longs. We know how to have fun. And we have ha we know how to have a great time. And as my dad would say, we are his daredevils. Because doing that um, flying thing, I don't even know the proper term. It was definitely an adrenaline rush. And I would recommend anybody to do it because it was so fun like when like when we got up there i was like oh my god, oh my god. i can't believe i agreed to this but it's like once he got off it was a rush and i just love it so that was really fun but i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling for i ramble for minutes and minutes and minutes but if you like this video be sure to thumbs it up um remember to co rate comment and subscribe and subscribing will help you be notified on when a new vlog posts and this is vlog 14 guys so we have two more vlogs and this will be the end of the summer vlog series so after all that jazz i guess i'll just say bye and go ahead and start filming for the next one deuces oh yeah i totally forgot to also end this vlog i just want to say that me my mom and my sister are going to be doing facetime calls so just go ahead and follow me on my snapchat and i will announce it there on what day and what time exactly we will be doing them and obviously what numbers to call to even do the FaceTime calls. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you're following me on my Snapchat. Otherwise you won't know when the FaceTime calls take place. So officially I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Or I'll see you on FaceTime.